Hello everybody out there. Um, I wanted to make a quick video just to give you some updates. Um, so the body camera footage that I had that really seemed to um, kick off and, and was very popular. Um, I didn't expect that to happen, honestly. I didn't expect that to happen. I, I feel that that's God, God at work there because of um, what was said in the video. And I know some people noticed uh, the little cross that I had on the, um, in the police cars. We had those spotlights, and I had it on the spotlight hanging. Um, and there were some funny comments about the Amazon boxes and stuff like that. As well as that. Um, I had like a Black Rifle coffee mug thing in there. and um, I know they have some good coffee. But uh, anyway, I wanted to make a series about my time in jail um, and my experiences there. Um, I don't know if you can see. This is, this is everything. Um, for 16 days that I was in there, I was, uh, by the grace of God, given a pencil and uh, a, a note, notepad thing, and I would write my experiences in there, and uh, I think it's important that I, I talk about those. At least that helps me process it, even if people aren't really interested in that. Um, it's something that I could, I could talk about at least. So um, I think... I think that would be good, and I'll, and I'll do a couple uh, videos with that. I also have requested some more body camera footage from my department through a public public records request. Um, if you don't know, um, as a you have a right to requ request body camera footage in whatever locality that you live in um, here in the United States, at least you can request the body camera footage because it's public record so I'm I have requested all my videos and I have there's one that I really want to get and show people it's a it would be two parts um, and it was when I was a uh, drug recognition expert um, and I just want people to kind of get a look and an idea and an understanding of what police officers sometimes have to uh, have to deal with right like there are certain people that we have to come in con we come in contact with and that we have to uh, try to help or assist or work with and sometimes it can be frustrating but um, in this particular instance I was doing an evaluation I was doing a drug a drug evaluation um, and uh, it, it, it I think people will really like it so I'm, I'm hoping to get that one soon but um, and some people too were asking about how do you know if it's a drug overdose versus a medical overdose? Well, I, I received extensive training, um, not only in, in the police department, um, and if you want to look up drug recognition expert, and I, it, took a, it took a year for me to finally get through all the testing, through all the, the schooling. Um, I mean, it took eight hours for me to complete the final test to be a DRE. And to be a DRE is very extensive. It's the most difficult course that you can take in law enforcement. Um, and you really get to have an understanding and recognize the signs of whether it's a like a um, narcotic analgesic overdose versus a, uh, you know, someone having a diabetic shock or something like that. Um, and or seizures and things like that. So I was able to recognize fairly quickly what this individual was, what was happening to this individual. Um, not only that, that was that was like my sixth or seventh time that I had come across that type of situation. That wasn't, you know, that video that you guys saw wasn't my first rodeo. You know, I had also had people die in front of me. You know, which is difficult to deal with, but. My, my point with that is, is I had uh, the, the experience and the knowledge to know what that gentleman was doing, what was going or going in his body. Um, so, I, but I, think, I do thank everybody for, for leaving some really um, awesome comments and some really um, positive comments. Um, and I, I do appreciate all the support and help 
I just didn't realize how 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 big it was going to be. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll just keep making some some videos and uh, you know if there is something that you guys want me to talk about or if there's a body camera thing that you would like to see because I have some I have some um, traffic stops too that that I could put on there if you want um, uh, you know there is some stuff from when I was a school resource officer too but uh, you know you can always leave um, some requests in the comments below um, and because of this video there have been some folks that have reached out to me um, I was in the military I, was, I served in the Marine Corps uh, I did a combat tour of Iraq so I do have I do have I did have uh, one individual who reached out to me uh, and that I'm that I'm trying to help and you know if you reach out to me I can help you get resources because I've been through the process before um, there's there's a lot of great stuff especially through wound of warrior project they have the rush program um, they have the audit project odyssey uh, and there's some other local programs too that you might that you might have in your area so if there's something that you want um, some assistance will just reach out to me and um, I can help you but anyway I just want to make this video give you some updates um, I have some more body camera footage coming in and I have um, uh, uh, like a jail series that I'm going to do because I had met some veterans in jail um, and one who gave me uh, permission to actually talk about his story um, and it just kind of goes to the bigger picture that I'm trying to get across to people is there's more need uh, uh, for mental health services for first responders and military especially so I hope everyone has a blessed day uh, and take care bye